Welcome! In front of me is a OnePlus 12R and today I will show you how you can copy your contacts from the SIM card to the device. So, to get started, open up your standalone contacts application, like this one. From there, navigate to Fix and Manage and then select Fix and Manage or actually, I think I... Manage SIM. That's what we need to select right here. So once you select Manage SIM, it automatically goes to importing your contacts. Now, if you have a Google account logged in on your device, which you most likely do, the device will automatically pick that location as a default location to import your contacts. As you can see, it selects it for me right over here. Now you can tap on the drop down and choose, for instance, a device, or if you have multiple Google accounts, you can choose them from the list that would appear right here. Now, additionally, you can also see that right now with the Google account being selected, it only has two contacts selected, the rest of them are grayed out. And the reason for that is because in reality, all those contacts actually exist on the Google account. So the phone is just simply trying to stop me from importing duplicate contacts. It is kind of failing at it, considering that these two are still selected, um, but it's trying. So I guess it counts. But if I were to select the device, as you can see, automatically all these contacts become selectable because none of them already, uh, none of them exist on the device. In any case, we can select from here, import. It asks us the stupidest questions. Uh, if we want to remove the contacts from the SIM card, uh, the reason it is stupid question is because those contacts never get in your way. So they are on the SIM card as a uh, safe backup that you don't ever have to think about, but once you need it, it's there. So asking you this is just absolutely pointless. So I recommend keeping uh, keeping these contacts. Oh, there we go. And once you navigate back to your contact list, you can then select where you want to display contacts from. So we have by default Google account, but because I did import them to device, that's what I will select. And like I said, uh, the contacts that are on the SIM card, as you can see, don't ever get in our way, as long as we don't want to display them, they won't show up. So having them on your SIM card is a good way to keeping a backup of them in case of whatever might happen. Now, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.